Hey, what's happening? I'm Mike from MusicRadioCreative.com. Okay, so you're decided on getting a Heil microphone, but you don't know which one to get. Is it going to be the famous Heil PR40? Is it going to be the slick condenser microphone, the Heil PR30? Or are you going to decide to go for the brand new and rather swanky Heil PR77D? This video is here to answer that question. Thank you to Heil Sound for being a part of the awesome audio giveaway. If you would like to win a ton of microphones like these from Heil Sound, you need to go to mrc.fm slash giveaway right now for a chance to win. Let's go a little more in depth and ask, what are you using them for? Are you a podcaster? Every podcaster in the world seems to have a Heil PR40. I have a Heil PR40. Leo Laporte has a Heil PR40. Cliff Ravenscraft has a Heil PR40. Pat Flynn has a Heil PR40. You can see the trend here. Uh, so that's your first choice. Are you more of a voiceover artist? Uh, do you want a high quality recording? Have you got a sound treated room? Are you okay to use a condenser mic? Then maybe the PR30 is the choice for you. Or do you want to look super trendy, be up with the latest fashion, and also just have a rather good sound, in my opinion, then you may want to consider the PR77D. Uh, but it's all very well me talking about how much I love Heil Sound and their microphones, but you probably want to hear how they sound. So let's do a shootout between the three now. All right, let's start out with the Heil PR40. This is just a fantastic piece of kit. I really like the Heil PR40. Check out how how cool this looks in champagne color, but you can also get it in so many other colors. I am now gonna plug in the XR lead and check, check, one, two. How is this sounding? This is the Heil PR40, uh, no pop shield, so I have to be careful of popping, but I think it's sounding rather good and a rather good, friendly podcast microphone it is too. Now, if you're a voiceover artist, you are probably begging me to try out this particular model of microphone. It is the Heil PR30. Get a look at this one. Also in Champagne, the model I'm using, and of course the model number is here on the back, PR30. Let's plug it into the XLR lead here and give it a mic check. Again, end fire element, so here it is in action. This is the Heil PR30. How does my voice sound on a Heil PR30 compared to the Heil PR40, I wonder? Finally, let's mic check the Heil PR77D. This one is most definitely winning the contest for best looking microphone out there. It is just a sleek piece of kit, purple and silver. It's gonna look great on your desk, particularly if you're doing webinars, webcasts, YouTube, videos, this is most likely going to be your microphone choice. It's also on the back, and I'll try and twist it around and show you this, it's got a music or voice setting, so depending on whether you're recording music or voiceover, you can flip that switch and change it. And as you'll see also, the XLR input is right there, so let's plug this in and give this one a go. Uh, it's in a cradle, which works really nicely, so I can flip it around to my desired uh, height and Let's mic check the Heil PR77D. How does the Heil PR77D compare to, for instance, the Heil PR40 or the Heil PR30? So there you go. Whether you choose the Heil PR40, the Heil PR30, or the brand new Heil PR77D, you're in a good place. Let me know which Heil you're using and how you use it in the comments below this video. Just a couple of post Heil sound check observations from me when I got the audio into Adobe Audition CC. You'll see the Heil PR40 over here uh, with a nice waveform. The Heil PR30 here with a bigger, louder waveform because of the condenser microphone there. And the PR77D. I was just a little bit further away from that, so it's a little bit quieter, but very similar to the PR40 there. The most interesting thing was when I looked at spectral frequency display and noticed that the PR40, when there's pretty much silence in the room, picks up quite a lot of background noise uh, between the bass frequencies and one kilohertz. The PR30 picks up a little less, but there's still a little bit of background noise being collected here in the silent spot. And in the silent spot for the PR77D, very, very little background noise, probably only up until around 400 hertz is picked up. So it appears from this analysis at least that the PR77D picks up the least amount of noise. Music Radio Creative.